So let's see here. We're going to put this. As best as I can. All right. Don't mind my cats stalking me. They only want food. Yeah, I know you want food. There. That's all the treats you're getting from me, you little shits. <laughs> yes. Uh, Booker and... Is it Bates? No, it's Alice. Um, Alice and Booker are chilling behind me. So we're working with Denali about doing um, some more of his psychiatric stuff. Um, while off duty and at home, he tends to be kind of lazy. They are little shits. Um, so we've been working more with him about coming um, immediately when he is called and tasking immediately. Um, I'd like to get him to the point where he'll just come and immediately, if he sees it, he'll do it. But we aren't quite to that level yet. Hey, Chelsea. Um, actually, do you want to mod for this live? Because I will add you to the mod list. There. Those. There, I put you as a mod just in case because it tends to later on in the evening, especially when I do like training videos, I tend to get a lot of um, people who are in there trying to search it. So, Denali, hey, Denali. Good boy. And I'm not as lenient as Raven is. Feel free to just, if someone's starting crap, just block them. Like, <laughs> I'm not, not in the mood to deal with people. Denali. Good. Good boy. I'm sure his ass is like in the way right now. Thank you for the booty shot. I might as well show the whole world my dog's ass on the internet. Love that. I, I love that. Um, I'm probably going to move you guys over here so that way you guys don't have the ass shot of my dog. Um, I no longer have any of my reptiles and rodents right now. Uh, I was going to address it in its own video, but like, I really don't feel mentally that I can do a whole video on it. Are you messing with the cats now? Don't go after the kikis. Leave them be. Um, I had to temporarily rehome, um, my reptiles and, uh, my rats all went to new homes, um. I still am in contact. I still get to see them and I know what's going on, but um, for the next like six, seven months, uh, I won't have any of my reptiles. So this is empty. Um, I just haven't gotten the uh, emotional spoons to clean it out yet. Um, so yeah, it just is there. Denali. Um, he didn't see he gave me the tennis ball. Um, he he likes to bring me my bra, his tennis ball, and one of his crinkly or like honky um, stuffed toys when I'm upset. Um, that's like his first go-to is to bring me a toy. 
um, which honestly, like some people want their dog to immediately like start tasking. But if I'm in enough mindset and he does bring me toys, it really helps me personally to play with him and kind of distract myself from having a panic attack or having um, just being depressed or having any of those issues. So I do like when he brings me his stuff to play with. I don't mind it um, because if I continue and I ignore it, he does obviously begin to task. Um, but I think it's kind of cute that he brings me his stuff because, I mean, it makes him happy. So, like, his immediate thought is to make me feel better is to bring me stuff. So, yeah. We set up. Oh, yeah, we have to wait for that to uh, pass. Over here. Okay. Over here. Okay. I'll cut you some slack. You're trying. Hello. It's like 10 degrees different in my room than what it is out there. It's so weird. I'm doing good. Uh, I graduated from IOP today. Um, so hopefully I can get a hold of a new therapist um, sometime this week. I've tried, but everybody has like a long ass waiting list. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out that. Good boy. Good boy. You got a little bit of uh, spit on your stuff. Uh, gross. I have spit on my stuff right now. Thanks, Sonali. Literally, that he he wants me to go play with him. He wants me to do stuff with him, which I don't mind it. Which can you show them how much you filled out? Yeah. He's starting to fill out. Yeah. Ooh, good boy. Ooh, good boy. That was a beautiful belch. Thank you. I'm gonna go get the ball. But he's gained like five ish pounds. Um, so he's about 78, 80 ish now. Um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can get him to. Um, I forgot to reset my watch. Um, to preferably max out at about 85, 90 pounds. Um, if not, it's okay. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful ball. It's real damp and disgusting. Are you drinking out of my fish tank? I like how freaking cats, man. Yeah. Alice, it is very cold here. Um, it, it gets down into the 30s now here. Yeah, it's disgusting. Thanks, Denali. It's gross. Sorry if you hear my stuff going off. Um. Do this thing. 
Denali. Leave it. Uh-uh. I don't know. I I think it's different everywhere, honestly. I travel all over, and it's weird. No, I'm just killing the guys who... Ew, negative 20 is disgusting. I, I, I was running two by horse. Oh, look at the teeth. Oh, look at the teeth. You're vicious. Vicious, vicious. Cold weather makes me feel like crap. So, yeah. I'm still working on Denali, like, long distance retrieving stuff. It's easier said than done. Um, Cause when I ask him to retrieve something, he wants to go and retrieve toys and not the item I'm asking. I mean, cause technically he's retrieving something, but it's not what I wanted. So if you're working on it, he's reliable when we are in the house. Otherwise it's a little spotty where we're working on it. Um, I've been, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff going on with myself lately, so I've just kind of been focusing on myself. Oh, no Ew. No Snow, Snow is gross. Kit. Kit. Okay. No, that does not mean the ball. No. We're not, no. Kit. Get, get it, get, 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 get it, get it, deny, uh, get, come here, get it, get, yes, good boy, we're working on it, working on distance, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Go get, go get, get, bring it. Stay. It's fucking gross. <laughs> it is now real slimy. Um, let's try something more difficult. Um, he's usually pretty good about retrieving clothing. So, hey, good night. Don't show the world your peen. What are you doing? Ready? Go. Get. Get, get my pants. Bring it. Thank you. Good baby. All right. Ready? You gonna try again? You're good with bringing clothes. Get. Go get. Go get them. Get my pants. Bring them. Come on. Bring it. Get them. There you go. Get. Get it. No, that doesn't mean get your bone. You're so close. Get. Tell him, come here. Come here. Go get. Go get it. Go get it. Get it. Bring it. He brought me his bone. Um, I appreciate it. Not the right one. Try again. Go get. Get my pants. Go get my pants. <laughs> Go get my pants. Go get them! They're all the way over there. Go get them. Go get. Get. <laughs> I know. We're trying. We're trying as hard as we can. He can have a little treat because he did bring me his bone. No. I didn't.
want the ribbon. I want you to go get my pants. Go, go get. There you go. Break. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Pants. <laughs> Slowly but surely. He's going to go see what my sister is doing. Um, what's another one? Um, let me see if I can get my pill bag and see if he'll do my pill bag skill. I haven't do that in a while, so stay out of the treat bag. out of the laundry. Freaking. <laughs> I want him to learn how to get my clothes. It's great. You know how much easier cleaning up my room is if I can just tell him to go get my clothes? I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, it's Alice dicking around. Nope, come over here. Try and get it. Ready? Get! Get! Oh, you definitely remember that. Get! Get it! I know it's a different bag this time, though. Get! Get it! There you go. Get! Get it! Thank you! This is a different bag. I got this from... H&M. It's so cute. It has like little zebras on it. I love it. Um, I'm running out of pill space. Um, all of them are just crammed in here. So uh, I still have two other supplements though that aren't in here because they won't fit. Did I? Hey, ready? Go get 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 it. Close. Get there you go, get. Come on, get. Thank you. Gotta put it in the hand. If I mean if you want, you I can hold on. Come come here. Show the lovely viewers a picture of your butt. Come here. Show them your butt. Show them your butt. Show them your butt. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, yep. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. You, you still get a treat for that. You're still bringing it to me. That's true. Rewind does exist. And now a glorious picture of his peen. Dude, stop. Stop walking in front of the camera with your freaking peen. It's gross. <laughs> At least he doesn't have atrocious balls. Ready? Get it. Get it. Come on. Bring it. Get it. You have to bring it. You have to put it in my hand. Thank you. Oh, boy. You're so smart. I'm very proud of him because this is something we worked on, kid you not, like six months ago. Um, and I never, like, worked on it again when I changed bags. So this is a whole new, like, texture. It's a whole new retrieval thing for him. So I'm really proud of him for figuring out how to grab that. Ready? Get! Get my pills! Get my pills! Bring them! Get! Get my pills! There you go. Good boy! He can't help it. He actually was fixed earlier than what I would have liked to because he had a retained testicle that had to be taken care of. We waited as long as we could to see if it would drop, but it just receded. And then they, when they couldn't feel it anymore, they just decided that like it was too dangerous to wait um, and, and see if it would drop. So 
we decided to just go ahead and get him neutered. Um, he was a year and a half old. I wanted to wait until two. Um, it didn't happen, which is okay because I would much rather have him and have him safe than you know worry about his testicles. It's not like I was gonna you know breed him anyways. So what are you doing, huh? Let's see. Where's my shoes? Your pair of my shoes. I'm just gonna put these. Oh. There's my washi tape. I love this washi tape. It's great for putting stuff up on your walls without like damaging your stuff, unless you're like me and have a shithole apartment paint. My paint here sucks. Booker, I do not have any more snacks for you. Get out of here. Mobility and psych work. I would stay away from any protection breed. Um, and I would, depending on how Denali quit, you're trying to mess with the cat. Um, depending on your size, personally, um, I would go Goldens from like a really reputable breeder, um, Poodles or Doodles. Um, don't shit list me. I like a good Gen 1 Doodle. Um, yeah, goldens if they if they're from a reputable breeder and are, are like genetically tested. Um, I think goldens are adorable. Um, anything for psych work, I really really want people to stick, stay away from protective breeds. It just it's it's a lot of work, and you really have to work with them and get them to understand what they can and cannot do. Denali's main task is not a psych dog. Um, I, he's only supposed to respond to me injuring myself. Um, he doesn't do like anxiety alerts or panic alerts, stuff like that. Uh, I just, I don't feel comfortable having a protection breed do that. I just, I don't personally. Um, I don't like the big boom in the community of everybody getting German shepherds. I think it's a really bad idea. Um, more power to them, but they have to be prepared to have a dog wash because it's hard. Yeah, it, it, I, the only reason I got a German Shepherd for my first service dog is because I had German Shepherds my whole life growing up. I have worked with Germans my whole life. I, I've worked with them and I did not do everything of his by myself. I had a professional trainer help me. They, I went to him and asked him questions and he told me how to train and how to do things. And without having a professional trainer, I really don't think Denali would have succeeded as much as he did. Cause it was very, it was very difficult and taxing on me too, physically. Um, No, I don't hate anybody for, you know, not necessarily liking a breed. I'm not that big on Akitas or um, certain types of uh, bully breeds. Um, most most of the bully breeds I'm talking about are, you know, the actual, like, designer bullies. I don't like. Personally, I, I just, I don't. Um, brachycephalic breeds, don't really like them. Um, I don't think they're bad dogs. It's just not my breed of choice. Everybody has their own opinions. Everybody has their own breeds. It's not that big of a deal. I hate when people like cause a holy living shit conniption because you're like, oh, well, I don't like doodles. And then everyone loses their shit. That doesn't mean I don't like your dog. It just means I personally don't like them as, as breed for myself. I could see da Daisy being a border collie lab mix. I definitely think she has some kind of, um, boxer or a bully in her though just because of how her head shape is ready get get my shoe get my shoe thank you that's one okay go get my other shoe go get my shoe thank you i got my shoes Let's see here. What's another good one? Let me say. Get my pants. Get my pants. Thank you. 
No one can tell me that this dog is dumb. I mean, he does stupid shit, but like, he's not dumb. He's just goofy. He's just a big goof. Here, come here. Taking this off again. Nakey. Nakey. You love to be naked. Sit. Uh uh. Come over here. That doesn't mean bring me. Oh. Okay. Okay. We, we can play for a minute if you want to break. Um, let me see. Hold on. No, that doesn't. Let me let me get your butt so you'll chase your tail. Chelsea misses you chasing your ass. He really just wants to play shark right now. Um, ten out of ten German shepherds, Belgian Malinois are the crack addicts of the dog world. Uh, Belgian Malinois are like, um, a German Shepherd did crack and bath salts. That's what a Belgian Malinois is. Let me get back. Oh, let me get back. Oh, let me get back. Oh, let me get back. No, let me get back. being such a good boy, Denali. Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs are great. That's what um, a friend of mine really wants for their next service dog is at Greater Swiss. He is a land shark. Huh? Little land shark? You little land shark? Oh, don't headbutt me. Said. High five. High five. Uh, my dog is neurotic. <laughs> You're such a good boy, Denali. We such a good boy. Oh, <laughs> Thank you for giving me the toy. You're such a goober. What? Halala. Halala. No, I don't think that German Shepherds should be for just anybody. They're the second most popular dog breed in all of the United States. They are number three to be euthanized. And that is a sad number. Yeah. You're also number five on the most aggressive list. Huh? You aggressive? Are you aggressive? <laughs> he is a big doof. Yes. Drop, back up, back up, sit down. Thank you. Ready, ready, down, down, okay. He is a goof, he really is. I just want you all to know that Booker has been watching me this whole time. The cat is right back here staring at me. He is a big derpy boy. Let's see. Kit. Kit. Not that. Thank you. Ready? Kit. Go get. Get it. 
Okay. No, that doesn't. No, I don't need that. Oh. He gave me a piece of plastic off the floor. Close. Close. I want you to go get the piece of fabric for me. Yes. Go get. Go get. Get. Go get it. That doesn't mean get your butt. Get. Go get it. Go get it. Over here. Go get it. Go get it. Get. Go get over there. Get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. We're working on it. He's trying. Sit. Sit. Thank you. My cat likes to ride my wheelchair. Booker is jealous that he's not getting dog treats. He loves these. They are disgusting. They smell bad. I have to wash my hands after this. But he likes them. So go get get it. Go get thank you. Yeah, they're gross. They smell bad, but they are very effective. No. We are playing toy right now. Uh, let's see here. See if he'll go get this cup from over here. Over here. Get. Go get. Thank you for the piece of plastic. Go get. Go get. Get the cup. Get the cup. Come. Not exactly what I wanted, but it was right next to it. Go get, go get the cup. Over here. Go get the cup. Get the cup. Cup. No, not that cup. Denali. Not that cup. Hey, not that cup. He's getting the one out of the garbage can, not the one out on the floor over here. Get the cup. Go get the cup. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Go get the cup. Get the cup. Get the cup. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. I know, you're confused. We'll start over. Come here. Like it? Get the cup. Over here. Uh-uh. Not that one. Come over here. No. Okay. This is okay, too. You're such a goob. What are you doing? What are you doing? Good. It's always good to have people to help you out training wise. Huh. Hi, Booker. I don't need your help, Kiki. Come over here. Get my pills. Get my pills. Get pills. Get my pills. Get it. Get it. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. You're so smart. Come here, Booker. Ow, don't bite me. I don't have treats right now. Come here. Come here. Ow, don't bite me. You're ridiculous. Denali, no, you don't need to play with Kitty right now. <laughs> Thank you for the belch in my face. It was gross. Kitty. Thank you. <laughs> You're a ding dong. Go 
get my pills. Get my pills. Get it. Go get my pills. Go get my pills. Get my pills. Over there. That doesn't mean put my. You, no. Uh uh. Thank you. Come over here. Go get my pills. Get my pills. Go over there. Get my pills. Get my pills. Bring them. Thank you. Good boy. That was perfect. Good boy. Oop, dropped it. Good boy. That was perfect. Good baby. Good boy. Good boy. I think you earned a little bit of shark time. How easy, killer. Easy on the hands. The scary part is like he's only getting stronger and I don't know how I feel about My that. Dude. My dude. My yeah, you're an ox. Oh, I don't know the fact that you're inside my horse. There was plenty of space too. I was about to put the in there. And then he was like, Oh, you mean turn? Turn now? I am proud of my strong boy, but he's an ox. Yeah, heaven forbid you ever realize that you can just go do whatever you want to do when you want to do it because you're so big. Oh, tips on being a wheelchair user. Um, comfortable underwear, comfortable pants. Um, have security oh on speed dial to all your favorite locations. Um, be prepared. Um, for anything that includes people trying thinking they can take advantage of you. Um, it's believe it or not, arm strength doesn't have very much to do with being able to push a wheelchair. Your core strength is a lot to do with being able to push a wheelchair. Um, there's a lot of people who are very strong, but can't continually push a chair. Um, it has a lot to do with your core body strength, um, which I've been trying to work on building up my core body strength. Upper body strength has some to do with it, but not as much as people might think it does. Um, that, and it's not all it's cracked up to be. It's not, it's sad and depressing and annoying and people are rude and inconsiderate. It'll change how you see everything um, accessibility wise. It just, it changes everything. And uh, uh, yeah, for curves, yes. Um, that and you need to make sure that getting up curbs also includes a lot of body upper and uh, upper body strength, core body strength to be able to balance yourself to get up and over. Um, there's a lot of other like pushing an oval shape. Um, yeah. Um, get good gloves to help with grip um, or get. Um, Push rim covers. It, why do you just keep bringing me new shit? This is what it's like. He's the first German Shepherd I've ever had who's obsessed with toys. Yeah. I've never had a German as obsessed with toys as you. Bring it. Get it. Get it. Get your toy. Get it. We did it. Um, did you hear? No, we aren't playing keep away. I'm not. I'm not playing keep away with you. I just 
That and custom chairs do a lot of research on what you personally need. Um, if I had to do it all over again, I would probably get a rigid um, just because I, I would, I'm able to do that now. Um, at the same time, I'm kind of torn because um, I like having a collapsible because it saves room. Yes, uh, going side to side will help. It'll help save your hands from a whole lot of burn. Um, but that also goes with gloves. Get a good pair of gloves. Um, I just got a new pair of gloves. I got ones for winter and I got a new pair for summer. Um, where's my bag? I put my other bag. I don't remember where I put my bag. Denali, come here. Over here. Oh, good boy. Mm, give me one second. Is my pink bag out there? I hear you've been teleported all the way to Armadillo. I think it's in here. Where did you put my bag, you little shit? Huh? I know you probably knocked it off the bed. Oh, and I was right. It got knocked off the bed and put in here. Okay. So, we have new winter gloves, new regular gloves. So, the winter ones, I shouldn't be that tired from getting up and down. Okay. Okay. So, I have um, placards on my car saying that I have a wheelchair, so I do take up two spots if there's no wheelchair space. These are technically they're like running gloves, um, but they work really good for wheelchairs. They have these little grit tech pieces on them that are rubber, um, and obviously they have the little tech fingers um, to help be able to push stuff on your phone. Um, these are also really thick, um, and they, they're made out of cotton. Um, if you can get waterproof neoprene ones, get them. Neoprene is made out of latex. It has latex in it. So if you are allergic, like I am, it irritates your skin and it causes me to rash and itch. So I have to use cotton, but that's what those look like. Love these so far. I... I'm so happy I decided to get these. Um, I was going to get a different like style, but I don't really didn't really like the um, style of the grippies on them. Um, so these are called rim sport gloves. Um, these are sport gloves specifically meant for wheelchairs. They are leather. Um, so they are going to have to be broken in, but they are specifically made so that it does not impede your wrist. Oh, wait, guys so I, I, these are a size medium, um, cause these are in men sizing, I believe. Um, but for the main part of these are all leather, and then the other part is like a breathable mesh on top. Yeah, they, those, are, those are some gloves. Hello. So that's what those ones look like. I really like them. Um, I wish kind of that these were a little shorter. The thumb, I don't really like how long 
the thumb is. Um, I might trim it down and hem it. They really are. I love these, but they are pink. Um, it's just the uh, camera doesn't do them justice. Um, they are hot pink, obviously. But, um, yeah, they... There's a, there's a couple things about them that I could change and I would like to change. Um, I might trim them down and hem them um, just for the pinky finger. But other than that, I, re I really like them. They I think that they're going to be really comfortable. Um, and I think they're going to be very durable. Um, I don't foresee them getting destroyed easily. Fanny pack, that's good. Hey, Lil, will you pause and wheel my chair in here for me, please? Pause, but I will do it in just one second, yeah. Thank you. I don't want to have to get up again because I feel like I'm going to pass out if I get up and down again. Actually, now that I think about it, I'll just crawl. It's fine. I have carpeting. I'll just crawl. Then Ollie's going to think I'm playing. I'm not playing. Mommy's just real dizzy. <laughs> they see me crawl, then they hate it. I'm real busy. Okay. I'm just going to bring that to you. I want my water to. Hey, how's it going? My body. Everything hurts and I'm dying. This is genuinely a lot less frightening. You probably know. What the fuck? What just happened? Jaden, what did you do? Jake, what was that explosion? I don't know nothing about that. Okay. A bitch is back. Jake, I need more water. Um, he's probably over everyone's bullshit. Okay. Yeah. He he's a special being. He really is. Um, he also he's not dumb. He looks really dumb, but he's not dumb. He knows how to high five. He knows how to sit. Like for a cat, that's pretty impressive. Um, so he is a cat dog. He's freaking weird. Love him, but he's freaking weird. Okay, so, ooh, bumping things into my butt. Um, so, I actually, I took my push canes off my chair. It's so difficult to see. I took the push canes off my chair. Um, I didn't need them. I have a smart drive now. Um, it's my watch. My handy dandy smart watch. Um, that goes with my smart drive. So, um, I don't really need the push canes anymore, so I took them off. Um, I plan on working on um, an up-and-coming video tonight and tomorrow. Hopefully, I will have a video up. It's just, I've been dealing with a lot. I went through IOP treatment, and I feel much better mentally right now. So, I just, I really needed the time to just take off and, and worry about myself um and, and how I was doing mentally. Um hoodie here. So first, other than the other modification of taking my push canes off, one of the other things I will tell you 
to chair to modify your chair or modify um, to make it more comfortable. It's going to add a little bit of weight to the cushion, but in the long run, it's going to help posture. This is corrugated cardboard. Um, I need to go get a piece of um, plyboard to cut. My dad is going to cut one for me because we have plenty of extra. But um, this has two sheets um, split up through the back of this. You can kind of see the outline of one of them here. Um, and it just keeps it from bowing. Um, when you're in a chair with a sling bottom like this, that's not a structured bottom, this bows, so your cushion will bow. And too much bowing affects your posture, and it, it just, it screws up the integrity of the cushion and the chair. So, put a piece in there whether it be corrugated cardboard or the uh, piece of PVC, PVC, piece of ply board. Um, so the next one is, I'm gonna have to pull my chair up to get this off. So this is my new fanny pack that I just got. Um, I clip mine underneath the bottom of my chair and it's where I keep all of my emergency weapons. Um, so I think, is my knife in here yet? No, nothing's in this one yet because my other fanny pack is in the car. Yeah, it can pinch your legs. Um, honestly, if I get the opportunity, I'm going to get a different cushion. I'm going to get one that has the um, leg divots just because it's more comfortable for me personally. But um, this is the new fanny pack here. And it has lots of room, which if you want to buy this fanny pack, I can send you the 10% uh, coupon that's on this. I can send you the coupon code if you want to buy this. Um, it's on Amazon. Um, it was under $10, 12 or $10. But it is Pink Galaxy. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors. Um, it has like a decent amount of room in there. And it does come with a front pouch. And it is fluffy girl friendly. Um, this, in fact, does fit me when it is completely pulled out. Um, it does fit me. Um, and it fits me really well, surprisingly. It fits really well. So it is fluffy girl friendly. Um, so if you're on the bigger side. Um, it also comes with a hidden pouch back here. Um, that if you want to put... Um, Lady products, poop bags, your cell phone. Like, could you not? So if you want to put anything back there, it's there. Um, it's kind of like a little hidden pouch. Um, I don't even know what this means. Um, Anti-tip bars or anti-tip... Um, they're called anti-tip bars, but I have them. Um, it's my sister playing uh, Red Dead Redemption online. Um, God. So that's the new fanny pack. It's really cute and it's really nice. It works really nice underneath the chair. Oh, you really want that? Oh, so we Maybe. Bullshit. Bullshit. There we go. So I do put it up underneath the chair Bullshit. and then. I like how it started fucking raining. Put this down here. It's my ass. It's up under here. Um, you guys love that slide. I usually keep it pushed forward some, so that way it's a little easier to get up underneath the chair. But I love it. It matches. Denali, thank you for putting your face in the video. Love that. So that's the fanny pack that I've been using. Let's see here. And then... <sighs> She's having a good time. 
Good night, Taylor. Go. Put that back. Um, I also, I'm sure you guys can't really see modification wise. Um, so I took off my side guards. The whole side guard that was here was riveted in and had to be unscrewed um, and taken off. So I had to go about doing that myself. Let's see here. Also, oil your wheelchair. I use WD-40 on my chair once a week. Oil your chair. Otherwise, it's going to be even harder to push. So, with the Emotion Composites Helio A7 is what I have. Um, there is a side guard here that you can push and it flips back and flips back here. It it wasn't impeding anything pressure wise, but it was causing a lot of issues um, of making like my leg, pushing my leg so that it touched the, the wheel and was causing it to rub. So, send you a picture of the fanny pack, Chelsea. Um, so it's causing issues of rubbing. Um, I am gonna have my wheel taken out about a quarter of an inch um, just to make sure that I have complete clearance on my legs. Oh, okay, I will. Um, this chair is good up to 345 pounds. So I am in the clear um, weight wise, very much in the clear for this chair. Um, I'm trying to get to where I can use the, I'm about like 250-ish, um, but I'd like to get back down to about 240, preferably, um, so that I can get the motion composites, um, Velo velocity or vol volus. It's, it is a folding frame rigid chair. So it looks like a rigid chair, but it has a folding frame. Um, so that's the one that I really want, but I need to be like 10 or 15 pounds lighter. Um, I could still get it. It's still technically, I'm still technically in that weird gap. Um, but I'd rather have a wiggle room on the weight ratios. Um, I get a new chair every three years. So I have enough time to kind of do my research and decide on what I want. If not, I'm going to get a TI light. Um, they're the ones that I highly suggest for a rigid chair. Um, TI lights are able to be customized down to the millimeter. They, they are able to be customized fully. Um, this one is a great beginner chair. It's very lightweight. Um, it works great uh, transportation wise. Um, for the situation that I was in with my car at the time, this was the best option for me. Okay. Um, so, Lily, you're being loud. Thank you. You were so distracting. Jesus. But yeah, it's it's relatively light to what it could be. She's a lot. <laughs> Um, what else did I do? Oh, I took the um, stickers off of my um, footboard. Uh, I don't have them on my chair right now because I decided not to bring them in because I'm lazy. But no, I'm not bent. Just stupid. So another one that gets you will get hair caught in your chair inside of your axle and inside of your casters which is the front wheel um, constantly I suggest using a seam splitter to get the hair out of your caster wheels without having to take them off um, if you're like me and you're handy with a tool belt, 
um, usually you can get away with taking them off and cleaning them. I do it like once a month. Um, anytime I'm just kind of chilling, I will kind of like try and pick the hair out of my casters because um, it, it impedes the roll and it makes it harder to push. Um, so yeah, I suggest check up on your wheels, uh, clean out the wheels. Um, this chair has the anti-flutter casters, so when you go really fast, your front caster will shake, um, and it causes you to be unstable or causes the chair to shake. Um, these have anti-flutter in them, so they don't do that when you start picking up speed. Um, my casters are also the... Um, what is it? Um, shit. The lighter ones. They're um, Newton wheels. So they are on the lighter side. Um, for their size, they're relatively light. Um, I do have my lights still on my chair. Um, I highly, highly suggest spoke covers is what these guys are. They're like little straw things that you put on your wheels. Um, I love them. They are great. They protect my fingers. So if I catch my fingers in my spokes, they just kind of roll off so I don't cut my fingers. Um, I took my anti-tip bar off. Here. Took my anti-tip bars off. Um, I don't need them anymore. Um, I highly suggest them if you're new to using a chair. If you've never used a chair before, use them. Um, otherwise, you will end up tipping in the middle of God and everybody like I did when I thought that I was ready enough, and I definitely wasn't. Um, and I tipped in the middle of Home Depot and hit my head. <laughs> so, really embarrassing. Um, don't take them off until you know that you're ready. Practice doing wheelies. Practice holding your balance. Um, what's another? Um, I sewed the tops of these shut and glued them. Um, so that the, um, sling back, tension back didn't slouch. The conditioner that I use is Kiwi conditioner, and it is actually meant for shoes. You can get it at Walmart, you can get it at Kroger, um, it is the Kiwi leather conditioner, um, Leather Company has good stuff. Their mink oil is really good. Um, you can also get stuff at TSC um, if you live in the rural community. Um, they make some really good options for, like, saddles and things like that. It's a really good option. Um, Denali's made a pile of toys in front of the laptop because I won't play with him right now. Um, so, honestly, that's about it that I've changed on my chair so far. Um, I will be getting aluminum foot plates because they have an angle change. Um, I am having some issues with my plastic ones. Um, with the angle that my feet want to sit comfortably to align my hips. I can't really do that with the plastic ones without dropping my foot so low that it drags the ground. So we're going to get the aluminum ones that have the adjustable um, angle of them. Um, that and that will actually cut down weight wise on my chair also. Because um, even though they are metal, they are only aluminum. Um, so pretty excited about getting those. They also look nicer than the plastic ones. Um, I don't really mind the look of my chair. I like my chair. But um, it just, I need the angle change. Okay, so you have a um, quickie. Um yeah, um, I took the armrests off my stuff. They get in the fucking way. Um, unless you're going to be pushed often, um, there's really no reason. Um, 
I don't see the reason to have armrests, um, which is why I completely took my whole setup off. Um, the only thing that I think I did put in to have ordered is um, new side guards, the large side guards, to kind of push my hips into alignment because um, they are my SI joints suck and they're really not wanting to um, sit in a natural position when I sit. Oh, okay. I know what chair you're talking about. Um, the foot plates are important though. It's going to be armrests do get in the way of pushing your own chair. Quit chasing the cat. It's rude. He doesn't want to play right now. Thank you. Um, so the foot plate basically helps you hold your balance. It's how you weight is evenly distributed. So if you don't have your foot plates and you try and do wheelies over things and things like that, it's going to be harder for you to do that without using your feet. So depends on kind of what you want to do, what you don't want to do. I find that using my footboards um, help relax my legs. It keeps my legs in a more neutral position than hyperextending them to try and touch the floor. Um, the only time I don't use them is if I'm in the house and I'm going to be foot propelling around my house. Dude, can you not be, like, obnoxiously chewing on stuff right now? I don't even know what he just ate. It probably was part of his bone. Speaking of which, do you want this back? There you go. So, yeah. Um, it kind of just depends person to person, but weight distribution-wise, foot plates are important. The lighting in here sucks for some reason, and I don't know why it sucks so bad. Oh, Lord of mercy. Okay, so yours probably were put in a um, elevated position for somebody who probably was geriatric. Um, usually most active wheelchair users keep them at a 70 to 90 degree angle. I suggest 70. It helps with your circulation. Um, 70 degrees is going to keep you in the most neutral seated position, um, whereas 90 can sometimes get in the way of your casters. Um, and you have to downsize your casters, which means that it's going to be harder to get over rough terrain. I like to go out to the park. I like to be on rough terrain. I like to go do that kind of stuff. So it just wasn't in the cards for me to have small casters. There's, It won't work for me. Um, but for people who, you know, don't really go off-road that often, there's really no reason. Um, Foam-filled tires. Foam-filled tires are going to be your better option, um, especially if you are going to be an avid user and in situations where you don't want to have to carry a pump and extra tubes with you. If you puncture a tire, you are going to have to replace it. Whereas foam tires are foam. They're solid. There's, there, It doesn't have a um, tube in here. So you can stab it with stuff. It can get cut up, have stuff poked into it, um, caught on things, and it's not going to deflate the tire. And you don't have to constantly keep up with tire pressure. So I suggest foam tires, especially for new, new people. It adds a little bit of weight. Not that much. Um, that, and I honestly think that the grip of foam tires is better than the grip of pneumatic or air tires. So, that's another good one. Um, know your limits for your core before you get a chair. Um, in hindsight, my next chair will have a rigid back. Um... My core strength and muscles are sometimes just, they suck if I'm tired. Um, oh, shit, that's loose. Hey, Lil. Ah. Bring me the toolbox, please. Okay. All my stuff is in there. Please and thank you. This is loose. Um well, this, this this moves on to another point. Check your stuff. This is loose. Check your things before you go out and use them. 
What are you eating? Grilled cheese. Did you make yourself a cheese quesadilla? Uh-huh. Can I have a bite? No, it's actually pretty good. I burned it a little. It's still pretty good, though. Let's see here. So. My chair has a curb weight of about 20-ish pounds. Without the wheels. With the wheels, it weighs about 30 ish um it probably weighs a little bit lighter than that now um because i took so much shit off of it but okay um Yay, nice and tight again. Um, these tend to get loose. These are what hold my foot bars on, footboard on. They tend to get loose pretty easy. Um, but yeah, go over your stuff. Check your chair. Make sure that everything's nice and tight and it's not going to wobble free or you're going to lose a bolt or something like that. Um, do not, under any circumstance, make any changes to the butt to floor height, the distance between the wheel and the chair and the ca um, cambridge or the angle of your tire without having a physical therapist explicitly do it for you or tell you how to do it. It changes how the chair functions and can change the structure of the chair entirely and the safety and integrity of the chair. Do not mess with those without having a physical therapist help you. Um, everything else on my chair, I do myself. That stuff, if I need it adjusted, if I need the distance adjusted, Cambridge, any of that, I have my physical therapist, Phil, do it for me. It just... It, the cons outweigh the positive. It just, it's not good. Yeah, literally. Um, yeah, do, do not mess with that because if you fuck it up, you're screwed. Just let it chill. You can survive until you talk to your physical therapist. Um, do I know and have a relative understanding of how to do it? Yes. In an emergency, could I probably jerry-rig it and fix it as best as I could? Yes. Am I going to? Absolutely not, because I have Phil and his phone constantly in case something happens to my chair, because he's the real OG, and I love him. Alice is just Jay Creepin. Allie, what are you doing? Are, are you being real cute, getting into stuff, knocking stuff down? Yeah, I hear you. So, um, another one is a slingback. So, it's kind of hard to tell. Let me see if I can't get my phone here. So you guys can kind of see this better. There we go. Slingback. Um, it has a bunch of these, like, little... Um, pieces here that help kind of hold the back rigid um, while still having some give. This one, the top one, I put as tight as I can with it still being able to fold. The next one down, I give it some more slack. And then the two here on the lower bottom, I make them on the tight side, but with some give because that's where your butt and your lower back is gonna hit. And if it is too tight, you will sit too far forward and it will be really, really uncomfortable. You want your butt to kind of drop down into the seat. 
Um, this right here is for some spine support. Um, it, it works okay. Um, but yeah, that this top one and this next one down are my two most important for me personally because it helps hold the structure of my my midsection when I'm having a bad day. Um, if I'm having a good day, my muscles are able to function fine. But if I'm exhausted and not feeling good, it's not good. Um, I do plan on putting um, some service dog patches on the back of my chair. Um, give us space, you know, service dog, blah, 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 on there. Um, just as something else to kind of keep away from people dicking with my dog. Um, my push rims. Let's see here. Maybe. So my push rims are taken in. Um, they are on the second notch in because I use a smart drive. So I'm not having to constantly like really grip. Hi, buddy. Constantly having to really grip onto those push rims. Um, I also find that if it's farther in, I push better. Um, I let go and, and push more naturally. And it protects my shoulders for me personally. Not everybody is that way, um, but it works for me. Um, what's on earth? So, let's see. Is this the one that's missing a screw? No, my other one is missing a screw. I plan on probably replacing these push rims with a set of iodized black ones. Um, just because the silver ones get um, fucked up really easy. They are very easily scratched and dinged, and it just gets annoying, um, whereas the black ones stuff kind of blends in more. Um, so if you get the option of coloring your push rims when you get your chair, um, choose black, choose a coated silver. Um, like, these are a coated silver. They usually work pretty well. Um, but for the most part, if you're going to get colors, be prepared to have to touch them up. Um, I actually use, hold on here. There we go. Um, colored nail polish to match the paint on my chair and cover up chips and scratches and dings and things like that. Um, it blends in pretty well. Um, I have a hot pink color that pretty much exactly matches the paint on my chair. So, hello. Um, that's what I use to kind of touch stuff up so that it's not, you know, obvious that there are scratch and things there. Um, but you can get this set, by the way, um, of all of these little guys here. And a set of one of these bad boys to keep in your car. I have two of these, one for in here and one for in my car. Um that have all of the Allen wrenches that go to your chair. So in case of an emergency, you need to tighten something up, you have it. This one is easy for at-home use because it has much more torque and you can really like get in there and tighten stuff. Um, that and it comes with more um, size options than what that one does. But this works really well too. Um, I really like it because it works more as it works for an Allen wrench, it works for a screwdriver. There's tons of different options. So I really like these. Uh, I got them at Target. Um, that and this has the option where it stops. You don't have to constantly crank to try and turn it. It's easier on my hands. Um, it's another good one to have here. Here's another good one here. Hold on. Ah, here we go. Throwing things. WD-40 with the little straw thing. Pick up some of it. It's great. It oil your chair. Um, it's in your best. It's in your best interest to oil your chair. Um, it keeps it from getting gross and tightening up. Um, and have a couple different types of wrenches. I have a monkey wrench. Uh, I have a regular pair of pliers. I have a baby set of pliers in here. Um, for my smaller stuff. 
So the best places oil wise, what I do is any of the parts that are going to be moving. So inside your casters. So inside this little part right here, the part that spins, oil it. Um, your axles of your wheel, take the axle completely out, spray inside the axle, wipe down the actual axle, and then put it in and move here. It's easier for me to show you how to do this. I'm not going to oil it because I've already oiled my chair. But when you flip, it will slide back and forth freely and not be stuck. That means that it has plenty of oil to easily spin and not have any interference or friction. Um, and it keeps it nice and easy to push. It would help if I was able to put my hand up under here better. Yeah. And then another good one is if you have wheelie bars on the back, those wheels spin, oil those. If you use footboards inside these holes up here where the little thing drops in, oil up in here. This little piece right here has stuff that's where you click them in. There's a moving part that sits right here. Oil right there. Um, for my chair, I have a folding chair. I oil the frame where my frame bends. When you pull the chair up, it has the, it has like an X underneath it here. Um, I oil all the little intricacies of that. Um, what's another one? When I had the, uh, arm pieces. I oiled those because those spun back. Um, so pretty much anything that moves, oil it. The only thing I really don't suggest oiling too much is your brake system. Um, unless it starts to get really hard to do, don't oil it because the last thing you need is your brakes slipping or your hands slipping off your brakes when you really need them the most. Um, I've only ever oiled my brakes once um, and I've had it for, I've had my chair for four or five months. So like, I've had this chair for four or five months, so just only oil them when they start to get really tight. I am in Columbus, Ohio. The big capital. But yeah, this is a little bottle that I got at WD-40. That was like dirt cheap and it's lasted me this long and I have still have a ton left in here. So like you get a decent amount. Um, I do plan on getting another one though to keep in my car just in case. Okay. I've been to Bella Fontaine. It was years ago, but I've been to Bella Fontaine and I go through Marysville all the time to go to uh, my mom's house, depending on where I'm coming from. But yeah, that's most of the stuff upkeep wise that I do to my chair. Um, I also take my wheels off and scrub them because they get disgusting. I mean, the Amish shops are nice, but the town itself is like crack town central. But yeah, um, my push rims are absolutely destroyed. I'm thinking about getting um, flex seal. Um, the um, texturized like sealant, um, taking my push bars off and sealing them that way. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about doing that because it would make them black and it would give them more grip. Um, I'm just worried about how it would stick. It's my only concern. So I'm gonna talk to Phil about that next time and see if he thinks that it would stick. Um, but I'm thinking if I put a really strong sealant over it, like Flex Seal, that it would kind of protect from all of the stings and scratches and just damage that I do to these. Because when it happens, it scratches them up. And then when your hands run over it, it can get sharp and like 
rigid. Like it just, it's a bad feeling. It's not soft and smooth anymore. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do that. Yeah, it's, it, I'm not looking forward to winter. I'm really not. And I'm really hoping that this apartment complex comes and shovels the handicap spot because I, I used to do my own parking spot when I was physically able to, but I just, I can't do it this year. I just, I can't do it. Um, if anything, I might get a snow shovel, put it in between my legs on my chair and like use my chair as a snow shovel, <laughs> um, to kind of try and push stuff out of the way. Um, which if you guys want, I can show you my smart drive. It's in the other room. Um, I can kind of show you guys what that is. Um, I would like to do a whole video on it. That's what the one video that's coming up is. I'm trying to get it out. But I didn't get very much footage while I was using it inside the um, physical therapist appointment. Because there was a lot of people in there. It's really rude to intrude on other people like that because it's a very small facility. And it just, I was using a lot. I was in my chair a lot. I was using the smart drive and having to focus on learning how to use it. So I didn't really film because um, I was trying to, you know, remember everything. <laughs> um, I wish I would have gotten on film. I ran over an entire rack of wheelchairs <laughs> and knocked over an entire rack of wheelchairs on accident um, because I accidentally, like, tapped wrong. <laughs> and, yeah. Um my physical therapist, Phil, came around the corner and he's like, oh, so now you're destroying our things. And I'm like, shut up, Phil. I know what I'm doing. He thought it was hilarious. He's like, everybody, everybody at least has to hit a doorway or some, or a human being or an inanimate object at least once while learning the smart drive. Or you haven't learned how to use a smart drive. I'm just happy I didn't run over an actual human being. Because... <laughs> You come close sometimes. Um, I really hope that people aren't dumb when I'm using my smart drive to, like, walk in front of me. Because um, I will take you out. Um, I don't mean to. It's just really hard to stop. So, yeah. Um, I haven't had anybody walk out in front of me yet, but, yeah. Yeah, Sam. I, sh I go straight into people without the smart drive. I will go get my smart drive. Give me one second. All right. So this is a smart drive. Um, this is the folding frame setup, whereas the um, rigid chairs, you just clip this, just this is what you get and you just clip it down onto like this little um, circle thing. You can you can look up how to put a rigid smart drive on a rigid chair. You can look it up, it's on YouTube. But basically it is connected to your watch through Bluetooth. Um, the unit only weighs about 13 pounds. Um, it holds a charge forever. Um, but the unit will die before the, uh, the wristwatch will die before the unit does. So make sure, charge your watch, otherwise you're shit out of luck. Um, the one thing I find is the bolts, the set screws for this come loose very, very easily. You have to tighten them down hard to get them to stay. I am missing two set screws. I have to call Phil and get two new set screws for this because the two went missing. The rollers on this, 
Yeah, I know. At least I don't have to charge this thing nightly. Um, I would say probably maybe once or twice a week I charge the unit. 